Hello, welcome back in Fusion 360 Solve Tutorials. Today we're gonna create the uh, Vernois sketch pattern. Uh, gonna use two pattern, like the spiral one and the hexagonal one. First of all, we sketch it two circles in this hexagonal Vernois sketch pattern, and the bigger circle, and inner circle, and this line to divide. Uh, the sketch in two halves for the purpose we can we will mirror this line after we finish our sketch I created this zigzag line okay we're gonna modify this the zigzag line and you'll see why I created this zigzag line first of all I'm gonna select these two lines and make it make them equal again Repeat echo. Repeat echo. Okay. We're gonna offset this zigzag line. That's nice. And we're gonna connect this line to the end in order to close the sketch profile. Okay. Then I'll mirror the both zigzag lines. Mirror. Okay. And then we're gonna stop the sketch. We're gonna extrude these two sketch profile. and then create a circular pattern of these two new bodies select bodies select the bodies the objects and the axis and make them like 9 or 10 I guess 10 would be more convenient we increase according to how we visualize the design make them 13. I guess 12 is okay. Yes, 12 is very okay. And then we're gonna sketch over again. I'm gonna connect the two bodies by a sketch. Because this is the original sketch, it closes the profile automatically. But while we are doing the next row, you should close the sketch profile manually because there is no sketch over there. Okay. That's closed again. Then okay, stop sketch. Next truth. The last sketch. And turn off the old sketch in order to for selection purpose. New body. I sure they are matching quite good. 
and then we're gonna make another circular pattern for the new bodies this one, this one, this one, this one, this one choose the axis choose the wall we are almost done right now we'll turn off the sketches and we'll make another sketch circle one another circle it's true And then we're gonna combine all these bodies together, make them join to facilitate the last step, which is uh, press P project or from sketch, we're gonna press project and choose the plane and selection filter bodies and choose. Okay. Now we have the sketch. We can extrude it. You can join, cut, intersect a new body according to your preference. Now we have the flow and wall sketch pattern, hexagonal one. Let's, this is part one of our video. Part two, we're gonna do the same here, but more simple than before. You know, I've seen this one. Okay. I'll repeat, I've seen this one. Yes, okay. And connect this. I need to close the profile. It's closed. I need to be closed. Here it's closed. Okay, stop stitch and extrude. Okay. Gonna create a circular pattern again from these bodies. The axis. Make it like twenty. Then if I put so we get the best result, like 27, 29, 28, 26, 33, yes. Gonna combine these bodies to a single bone. Okay, so now it's one body. Now we're gonna press P to project this body into this. this. Now we got the Verma sketch button also to select.
and select it and then you can extrude to cut or intersect or not. make a new body there is let's finalize our depths for how to create a vermo sketch pattern without needing for an application in fusion 360 thanks for watching